This monkeypox virus looks quite similar to other members of its genus orthopox virus. And if you see this virus under a microscope, and by the way remember you can even see this virus under the light microscope. But to visualize it properly of course you need the electron microscope. So if you see it under an electron microscope you will be welcomed with a brick shaped virus. So here is this brick shaped virus and that is covered by some tubular proteins. So this is basically the envelope that is giving, that is imparting the brick shape to this virus. And these tubular proteins, they help this virus to interact with glycose, aminoglycans and other proteins of the host that we will discuss later. You know by now that this is an enveloped virus. Now if I cut a section of this enveloped virus, you will see that it consists of two membranes. So one membrane is this one which harbors this tubular proteins and then there is an inner membrane as well. Of course there are some virus particles that have single membrane as well but here we are looking at the particle that has double membranes. And inner membranes have some different proteins on it and outer membranes have these typical tubular proteins. So it is double layered enveloped virus. Now here we are looking at the cut section of its envelopes. Now after cutting the envelope the structure that you will see here this purplish one is the nucleocapsid core. So this is the capsid core of this virus and if you just isolate it you will see that it looks like a uh, dumbbell shaped. So from here if you see it looks quite like dumbbell or it looks like a box with concavities in it. So concavity, one concavity is here and the other concavity is here. And within these concavities are special amorphous substances called lateral bodies. So here are the lateral bodies. This is one lateral body and below that, somewhat here, below that is another lateral body. What is the function of lateral bodies? This is not clearly known but the thing is that it is a mixture of several different proteins and of course unfortunately the function of these proteins is not known but some authors believe that they have a role in immune system modulation of the host. They might suppress the immune system of the host. Now if I cut a section of this capsid core here you will see the double stranded DNA. So here is the double stranded DNA and at its ends this DNA is joined. So if I cut uh, if I isolate this DNA as well here you can see at this point let me show you exactly here it is joined and at this end also it is joined. So it is double stranded DNA virus that is also enveloped. So it is enveloped double stranded DNA virus and it is one of the largest group of viruses that are known to humans.